Want to know a great focus game to play with your dog? Well, I'm gonna show you that in today's video. Hi guys, it's Chloe and Ted here from Everything Dogs with Chloe. And on this channel, we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy by posting videos like this one on dog tricks and anything else to do with your dog. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing and don't forget to check out all the links down below. Let's get into the video. So me and Ted used to do agility. We have put that on hold for the time being as I am currently pregnant. But whilst we did agility, Ted used to get incredibly excited and sometimes he wouldn't really focus on me very well. So I looked up how to get my dog to focus on me a little bit more. I found a great game that I still do today that tests Ted's boundaries. It's really good fun and really easy to do. It's a game rather than a trick. So what you want to do is you want to get your dog's favorite toy or favorite treat and you want to hold it close to their nose. Don't test them too harshly. So at first you don't want to do it too close. So you're holding your treat or your toy close to their nose and you count one, two, three. If they don't nudge you or jump up at you, then they can have that toy or treat. However, if they nudge or t uh, jump up at you, just hold the treat there and restart your counting. The reason I say don't pull the treat away is because that is gonna encourage your dog to jump. So you don't want to pull the treat away and encourage them to jump and that then becomes a new game. So just hold your treat there and just keep counting one to three. They'll soon get the idea that if you get, they get to a certain point of sitting still for long enough, they will get the reward. So, you, as you go on and your dog is stopped nudging you and jumping up at you to get the toy or treat, you can actually get closer to their nose. The other great thing about this game is that it teaches them that they can't take anything out of your hand until you give it to them. I really love doing this game with Ted because it really tests his limits and it really tests his boundaries. Give it a go with your dog and see how much fun you can have with it. Thank you so much for watching and if you are new here, please think about subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any videos. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. And question of the day is, what focus games, if any, do you play with your dog? Leave your comments in the section down below. I really hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!